Hello and welcome to the Complete Higher Equipment Round 8 preview for the WRFL. Andrew Wilson along with Peppy Cavalier as always. Hello Peppy. Hello Willow. Now before we get started to review all the games in Round 8 of WRFL, it is socket to MND campaign time with the WRFL. So you can take a short video of yourself snapping goals from the pocket. So get your dribblers, get your rollers, get your bananas, get your over the head snaps and get a celebration going and forward that email to the league. You can email the... WRFL Media Manager Kristen Alabakis. You can email her at this email address. Um, keep the video short for about 30 seconds. There'll be more information on the website. Get your entries in because they close on Friday, June 22nd and your chance to win a Sharon Pack. It's a fantastic uh, op prize here and a great cause this, isn't it, Pep? Yeah, it certainly is for the Fight MND cause. We all saw uh, Neil Danaher and everyone at the MCG for Melbourne and Collingwood in the AFL. So it's a wonderful cause, so make sure you get behind it. All right, now let's get stuck into the footy. Round 8, Rams Division 1, Albion take on Hoppers Crossing. I think Hoppers Crossing will be too good in this one, Willow. I just think their form's been uh, a lot better so far. Um, they, they bounced back uh, from their loss against Sunshine by beating Wyndham Vale a fortnight ago. I think they'll be too good. Yeah, I agree. Hoppers Crossing will win that one. Altona take on Wyndham Vale. Altona coming off a rare loss in 2008, and I think they'll be way too strong for Wyndham Vale. Yeah, you would think so. They were probably pretty disappointing. Huh? They struggled to find avenues to goal against Werribee and in the end lost uh, quite comfortably in the end uh, to the Tigers so they'll be looking to bounce back they've had an extra week to think about it Willow um, Wyndham Vale have been okay the past couple of weeks haven't been able to get a win but um, they'll provide some sort of challenge but I think Altona will be pretty keen to get the win. Yeah, and a big clash here, Deer Park taking on Werribee Districts. Did a little bit of research. Werribee Districts have only beaten Deer Park once since they've joined the competition. And I think Deer Park will get the job again this week. I didn't know that stat, Willow. You should have told me, bef <laughs> you should have told me that before I tipped Werribee because I was very impressed with them a couple of weeks you ago. You can still pick them. No, no, I'm, I'm going to go with Werribee <laughs> Districts. Um, I think it'll be a really good game. But um, if you look at the first uh, seven weeks of the season, Werribee have been the better side and uh, it'll be close. Um, I might regret this decision, but I'll go for Werribee Districts. Uh, good on you there, Peppy. Spots would take on Caroline Springs. Uh, I think Spots would will win this one. Uh, Caroline Springs, you know, have been not too bad. They were really poor a few weeks ago, though, against Deer Park. They were smashed. Very disappointing. Um, spots were too good. Yeah, agree there. And Sunshine now, resurging Sunshine, take on St Albans. This should be a pretty good clash, this one. Yeah, Sunshine uh, won their last couple, um, so they're... On the way up, certainly, there's no question. Uh, they were a bit scratchy against Albion a fortnight ago, though. I think they'll need to fix up a few things, especially against a St Albans side that will be really keen to uh, bounce back from a, a disappointing game uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, look, I think I think Sunshine will win, but I don't think it'll be by a huge margin. Yeah, I'm going to go Sunshine as well. That was Rams Division 1. Now we move on to Division 2. Auburn Vale taking on Parkside. All the teams have played each other yeah. once. Now we're going to see where everyone's at after playing each other. Who do you think will win between Auburn Vale and Parkside? Well, it's interesting because Parkside came into the competition in Round 1 and they smashed Auburn Vale in Round 1. I don't think that'll be the case again this time, especially on Auburn Vale's home deck. They'll be really keen um, to put in a better performance uh, considering they were well beaten by North Footscray as well a couple of weeks ago. So a real challenge for them to step up and, and show what they've, um, what they've improved on in the last month, I suppose. Um, but I'm tipping Parkside. I think to turn things around by more than 70 points is going to be difficult for Auburn Vale. So Parkside for me. Yeah, I think Parkside will win that one. Newport Power take on West Footscray. Yeah, Newport Power, they were very good a yeah, couple great. of weeks ago against Parkside. Um, rematch of the first time they'd met since the Division Three Grand Final a couple of seasons ago. Um, and they're excellent. So starting to find their feet, Newport Power. And I think they'll get the job done over uh, West Footscray. They're always tough to beat at home, the Power. Yeah, I agree there. Manor Lakes take on Point Cook. Point Cook still rolling along very nicely in their first year in the competition. They are. I think we would have expected a bit more from Manor Lakes a few weeks ago against Yarraville Seddon. No, they were well beaten. Um, they're back on their home deck this week. Um, whether that helps them enough against a Point Cook side that's been excellent and very consistent throughout the first seven weeks of the season, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Point Cook will win. Yeah, agree. Yarraville said and take on North Footscray. This is our match of the day on 88.9. Win FM join all the crew from 1.30 as we broadcast this as our match of the day. Should be a beauty rematch from last year's grand final. The Yarraville won in round one. Do you think yeah. North Footscray can take the points this time in round, oh, in round eight? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to tip Yarraville Seddon on their home deck. Um, 
it's a it's a real toss of the coin, though, Willow. I mean, both sides have been travelling um, pretty nicely so far. Um, both will be really keen to get a result, a scalp, if you will. Um, it really, it's a genuine toss of the coin. Uh, I think the Eagles will win just. It'll be close, though. Be a ripper. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be a beauty. I'm going with Yarraville, set in Eagles as well in that one. Division three, North Sunshine take on Laverton. Big game for North Sunshine. They were really poor against Tarnit a fortnight ago. They were really well beaten, significant margin in the end. Uh, Laverton were okay against Sunny Heights for, you know, part of the match. Um, but I think North Sunshine will win this one. I think it's imperative that they bounce yeah. back after such a disappointing effort a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, North Sunshine for me being the home side. Point Cook Centrals should be too strong for Glen Orden. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, Glen Orden were okay against Wyndham Suns a few weeks back. They played quite well. They only lost by 20 points. So there's certainly promising signs for the Hawks, but I just don't quite think they've got it in them against Point Cook Centrals, who are really flying. Yeah, agree with that one. Sunshine Heights, Braybrook, this is a tough one to pick. It really is. Uh, home ground advantage for me tips it slightly in Sunny Heights' favour. Again, they had to win a couple of weeks ago against Laverton. And just as important, this one, they have to keep winning if they're to keep the pressure on the top four in Division uh, 3. So I think the Dragons for mine. Yeah, me too. They're at home. And the final game, another beauty. Tarnit taking on Wyndham Suns. Yeah, Tarnit have uh, been really good since the first fortnight. I mean, they only lost to the top two teams in those first few weeks. They've won every game since. They've been very good. And Wyndham Suns have been a bit scratchy. They've still been winning the past few weeks, though. It's the sign of a good side, Willow. Mm -hmm. Winning without your best yeah. stuff. Um, but they're going to need their best stuff if they're going to beat the Titans. And at home, I think uh, they'll win Tarnit. Yeah, I'm going for Tarnit as well at home. So that will be a beauty. This has been the complete higher equipment WRFL Round 8 preview. Andrew Wilson, Pepe Cavalieri. Good luck to your team this week. And don't forget the MND thing.